Hey guys, this is Chris from themebutler.com and in this video I just wanted to give you a couple of tips with regards to using UIKit in your beans based projects. Um, I'm not actually, this is for the project I'm working on, I'm not actually, it's not actually a WordPress project, I'm rebuilding one of my sites um, as, a, as a static site uh, using a bunch of really cool tools, uh, but I'll cover that in a separate video. The point was that out of the box UIKit doesn't give you any way of building a or creating a custom build of your the various components. So when you download UIKit and use it in your projects, outside of Beans at least, um, it's going to be the entire core library. So that means it's all of these components listed on the left here. Um, which they've decided is kind of the bare uh, basics needed for every project. Being that I'm a bit of a performance nut, um, there's a lot in this list here that, um, at least for this specific project, I wasn't using. Like, for example, the comments that's handled by Discuss, so there's no reason why we should go and um, include that component. And same goes for other things. Um, we're not using the breadcrumbs or pagination, uh, not using tabs or thumb, nav thumb navigation anywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the compiler in Beans to create our own customized version of the CSS and JavaScript. Um, and to do so, I just created a fresh WordPress install. I've just installed Beans and the the uh, starter child theme that's available on the bean site under the theme section um, and we aren't going to be actually we aren't actually going to be using the site for anything other than just generating the CSS and the JavaScript uh, so if I look at the well for first I'm going to just pop over to the uh, to my editor and I'm going to just enable this snippet of code um, I'll go over it in a sec, but for now I just wanted to I'll enable that first. And <clears throat> as you can see, what it does is it gives us a nice breakdown of all of the UI kit components that are currently being loaded. Um, and that's all been loaded by Beans. And it also shows us that we've got the uh, default original um, UI kit theme and then the bean specific one which overrides that um, but we're not going to worry about that too much so for now if we uh, we see in the list here these are the ones that are loaded uh, by default in beans so it's not as bad as the like the long list of all the components here but uh, there's still we want to essentially go through this list and think what are the components that we need for for uh, for the specific project? So in my case, I created a, a list of the components I wanted to load. So if we compare that to the components that are currently being loaded, you can see there's a few extras in here like the comments that we don't want, and then there's a few others that are missing. Um, so. Right, so now if we look at um, the function we've got here, we're going to be, this is the inqueuing and dequeuing of the assets. You probably come up with a uh, better name for that, for the function, but what we're doing here is, this section over here is removing, so dequeuing any of the UI kit components from loading. So table, panel, pagination, subnav, navbar, nav, icon, all of these I'm not going to be using. Um, and then the second bit is where we actually are enqueuing. So in this list we didn't have the cover component, uh, which I know that I'm, I am going to be using. So if I save this now and reload the page, these should be removed and the cover one should be added. Um, so if we reload that now, and you'll see it's reduced right down and we've got the cover one. 
Um, another cool thing I wanted to show you is um, something called auto loading in Beans, and that's when you include a component. Uh, for example, I want to use the light box. Because everything is so modular in UIKit, the light box isn't just one component on its own. It's also made up of the modal component, and it also uses the slide nav component if you want to, and it also uses the close component. So normally, if you were going to use the light box, you would have to make sure that you had the modal and the close, and often you would in you would include the component here, um, but it wouldn't work because it was obviously missing. It needs the modal component and it needs the close uh, component to add the close icon. Um, something that Terry added was now when you say I want to use the light box, it'll automatically go and grab any um, dependencies and load them automatically. So now this is an add-on, so it's not one of the core components, it's one of the ones listed under components on the UIKit site. Um, and you can see all I've, all I've added is literally just Lightbox. We haven't uh, specified anywhere else that we want the, the modal component. Um, but now if I go and I refresh the page, you'll see it's automatically included. Uh, so we told it to include the Lightbox. But then it's also included the slide nav and the overlay uh, and well and the modal and the close. Uh, that's quite a big uh, time saver and um, in the past you'd have to go and dig around and kind of like go and check the document uh, UI get documentation to see where or sort of which components were missing. Um, whereas now it's really really easy. Um, so yeah, here we've got pretty much all the components that we want to include. Um, and now I can just pop over into um, into the admin from this WordPress site that I've set up. And we can just say compile all the styles and compile all the scripts. Um, and disable development mode. So now if I save, flush the cache and if I head over to the site I can actually disable this. Um, so now if I view the paid source and it'll be this file over here for the CSS and at the bottom we'll have so those are the two files that I would save and download and then include in my project. Um, and yeah, I mean that applies to, obviously with Beans you would need to because it does it automatically. But for now this is, um, at least when it comes to building static sites that use UIKit, getting a optimized version of UIKit that only includes the components that you are using. And that's pretty much it. And yeah, also hope you enjoyed the tip about the auto loading. Um, just one of the many reasons why Beans is definitely the best theme around, in my opinion, at least. <laughs> cool. Hope you guys found that useful. Cheers.